we are going to go over the three worst types of foods if you have arthritis. And that's because the food you eat could have a significant impact on how you experience symptoms related to arthritis. Recent studies have shown that diet plays a vital role in managing arthritis and its related symptoms. Certain foods can trigger inflammation and worsen pain, while others can actually help alleviate them. So in this video, we are not only going to discuss the three worst types of foods for arthritis, but I'll also highlight foods that may offer relief. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. Food number one on our list is processed and fried foods. These mouth-watering guilty pleasures can wreak havoc on our joints. Processed foods often contain high levels of unhealthy fats, trans fats, and refined carbohydrates. These ingredients not only contribute to weight gain, but also promote inflammation in the body, which can exacerbate arthritis symptoms. Common processed foods include sugary breakfast cereals, frozen pizzas, packaged snacks, and instant noodles. Similarly, fried foods are cooked in unhealthy fats and oils that not only add unnecessary calories, but also trigger inflammation. This leads to increased joint pain and discomfort. Potato chips, chicken nuggets, french fries, all of these are tasty at the moment, but the negative effects on your body can leave you regretting it later. All of these effects are consistent with what a recent clinical study found. They looked at whether metabolic syndrome severity score predicts worse arthritis. Metabolic syndrome is a cluster of conditions including abdominal obesity, high triglycerides, abnormal cholesterols, high blood sugars, and high blood pressure. The researchers report that People with higher metabolic syndrome severity have worse progression of osteoarthritis as defined by worse bone spurring, worse bone marrow lesions, and worse defects in their cartilage. All of this indicates worse progression of arthritis and worse arthritis symptoms. So to manage your arthritis effectively, it's crucial to limit or avoid processed and fried foods as much as possible. Instead, opt for whole unprocessed foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. All of these can provide essential nutrients without the added inflammatory component. Remember, every small step you take in making healthier food choices can make a big difference in managing your arthritis symptoms. So food type number two is right up there with processed and fried foods, and that's sugar or high glycemic index foods. Sweet treats are hard to resist, but all of that excess sugar intake can trigger inflammatory responses in the body. High sugar consumption promotes the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, which can worsen arthritis symptoms. This cohort study looked to examine the longitudinal relationship between blood glucose levels and knee symptoms related to arthritis. They found that higher blood glucose levels were associated with worse knee symptoms over the one-year follow-up time period. Indeed, this effect is also seen in those with type 2 diabetes, which is a metabolic disorder characterized by high blood sugar levels. This systematic review and meta-analysis found that type 2 diabetes is associated with the development and worsening of osteoarthritis even when controlling for confounding factors such as body mass index as well as weight. By far the worst offenders in this group are sugar-heavy beverages such as juices and sodas. Let's take a can of Coke for example. A standard 12 ounce can of Coke contains approximately 39 grams of sugar. That's equivalent to almost 10 teaspoons of sugar. Let's compare that to a regular sized chocolate bar. These typically contain around 20 to 30 grams of sugar depending on the brand and variety. That's still a significant amount of sugar, but it's a lot less than what you can find in a can of Coke. Similarly, high glycemic index foods, which quickly raise blood sugar levels, can also promote inflammation. Foods like white bread, white rice, potatoes, sugary breakfast cereals, and sugary snacks like candies, cookies, and cakes, they all fall into this category. Consuming these foods regularly can contribute to increased joint pain and inflammation. So if you're dealing with arthritis, it's important to be mindful of your sugar intake and the types of carbohydrates you consume. Instead of reaching for that sugary soda or processed snack, opt for natural sources of sweetness like fresh fruits or use healthier sweeteners like honey. By making these simple adjustments, you can better manage your arthritis symptoms and support your overall well-being. 
Remember, it's not about completely eliminating sugar from your diet, but rather being aware of the hidden sources and making informed choices to reduce its negative impact. Now let's move on to the third category, which is processed meats, and these include sausages, hot dogs, deli meats, and bacon. They may be convenient and tasty, but they can be problematic for individuals dealing with arthritis. These meats are typically high in sodium, unhealthy fats, and preservatives. Consuming them regularly can promote inflammation and worsen arthritis symptoms. In fact, research suggests that processed meat consumption may lead to increased levels of inflammation in the body. This study found that red and processed meat consumption was associated with higher levels of inflammatory markers such as serum leptin levels as well as C-reactive protein levels. Additionally, processed meats have been associated with an increased risk of certain conditions like heart disease and colorectal cancer. So cutting back on these meats not only benefit your arthritis management, but also your overall health. And by the way, if you're enjoying this content so far, please do me a favor and click the like button. It will tell YouTube to spread the video to more people and help them too. Thanks for doing that, I really appreciate it. Okay, so we've identified the three worst types of foods for arthritis, but now it's time to shift our focus to a more positive note. In this section, we'll be sharing some fantastic alternatives and healthier choices that you can incorporate into your diet to support your arthritis management. When it comes to combating arthritis inflammation, one of the best approaches is to prioritize an anti-inflammatory diet. This means filling your plate with foods that have been shown to reduce inflammation and promote joint health. Let's start with fruits and vegetables. These colorful wonders are packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that can help combat inflammation. Aim for a variety of fruits and veggies, including berries, leafy greens, bell peppers, broccoli, and citrus fruits. Whole grains are another excellent addition to an arthritis-friendly diet. These grains, such as brown rice, Quinoa and oats provide fiber and important nutrients that support overall health while also reducing inflammation. When it comes to protein, opt for lean sources like chicken, fish, nuts, seeds, and legumes. These alternatives provide essential nutrients without the added unhealthy fats and inflammatory properties found in processed meats. Healthy fats such as those found in avocados, olive oil, and fatty fish like salmon are also beneficial for managing arthritis. These fats contain omega-3 fatty acids, which have anti-inflammatory properties and can help alleviate joint pain. And don't forget about hydration. Staying well hydrated is essential for joint health. Water is the best choice, but you can also enjoy herbal teas or infuse your water with fresh fruits or herbs for added flavor. By incorporating these wholesome anti-inflammatory foods into your daily meals, you'll be providing your body with the nourishment that it needs to manage arthritis symptoms more effectively. It's important to point out that while diet alone may not cure arthritis, it can significantly impact symptom severity and overall quality of life. Remember, the best way to manage arthritis is by taking a multimodal approach. This next video will help you learn about all my other most recommended treatment options for arthritis. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.